The Diperdodon was essentially a gigantic wombat. It is an extinct genus of giant marsupials that lived during the Pleistocene Epoch in Australia, and it was literally the size of a modern day car. The Pleistocene Epoch spans from about 2.58 million years ago to approximately 11,700 years ago, but the Diprotodon is believed to have gone extinct around 46,000 years ago, along with several other notable megafauna in Australia, such as the marsupial lion, which we've made a video on, the link to that will be in the description. The Diprotodon was the largest marsupial to have ever lived. It could grow up to 4 metres or 13 feet in length, and it weighed over 2,700 kilograms, which is nearly 6,000 pounds. It had a large, robust body, similar to that of a wombat, but much larger. It had pillar-like legs, a large head, and a short tail. Its teeth suggest it was a herbivore, primarily feeding on leaves, shrubs, and possibly grasses. Fossil evidence indicates that the Diprotodon was widespread across Australia. Its remains have been found in various locations, from arid inland regions to more temperate areas. It is believed to have been a relatively slow moving animal due to its large size and it might have lived in groups, similar to some modern large herbivores. The Diprotodon is a member of the Diprotodontia order, which includes modern marsupials such as kangaroos, koalas and wombats. Wombats are the closest living relatives of Diprotodon. They share several anatomical features, including robust bodies, powerful limbs, and similar dental structures. Koalas are also closely related to Diprotodon, although they have a more specialized diet, with them primarily eating eucalyptus leaves. They do share a common ancestry with Diprotodon though, and they exhibit some similarities in skull and dental morphology. The Diprotodon did not burrow like modern day wombats. While modern day wombats are known for their extensive burrowing habits, creating complex tunnel systems, the Diprotodon, due to its large size, was not adapted for such behaviour. As one of the largest herbivores in Pleistocene Australia, the Diprotodon played a crucial ecological role in shaping the vegetation and landscape. Its feeding habits would have influenced plant community dynamics and nutrient cycling, similar to how large modern herbivores impact their ecosystems. The Diprotodon had several potential strategies for defence against predators like the marsupial lion and the megalania, which is a giant prehistoric monitor lizard that was a large carnivorous reptile capable of taking down substantial prey. The sheer size and strength of Diprotodon would have been its primary defence. Its massive bulk would have deterred many potential predators. Large herbivores often rely on their size to intimidate and fend off attackers. It had strong robust limbs that it could use to kick or trample predators. Its powerful legs and large body mass would have been formidable weapons against any threats. It's likely that predators hunted for young, smaller and more vulnerable Diprotodon. With that being said, the Diprotodon, like other marsupials, likely had a pouch for carrying and nurturing its young. Marsupials are characterised by giving birth to relatively undeveloped young, which then continue to develop outside the womb typically in a pouch known as a marsupium on the mother's body. Given Diprotodon's close evolutionary relationship to modern marsupials, it is almost certain that it had a pouch for its young. The pouch would have been crucial for the survival of Diprotodon young. This reproductive strategy is a significant evolutionary adaptation seen in marsupials, allowing them to protect their young from environmental hazards and predators. Like modern marsupials, Diprotodon mothers likely invested significant care in rearing their young. This care would have included not only carrying the young in the pouch, but also feeding and protecting them until they were mature enough to survive independently. It's plausible that the Diprotodon lived in groups, similar to many modern large herbivores like elephants, bison and some species of deer. Group living provides several advantages, including increased vigilance, protection from predators and better foraging efficiency. Some fossil sites have yielded multiple individuals of Diprotodon found together which might suggest that they lived in herds or family groups. However, this evidence is not conclusive, as it could also result from individuals congregating around water sources or other resources. Indigenous Australians coexisted with megafauna for at least 17,000 years based on archaeological and paleontological evidence. The extinction of the Diprotodon is thought to have resulted from a combination of climatic changes, habitat loss and human activities. The arrival of humans in Australia likely exerted additional pressures through hunting and environmental modifications. 
Some Aboriginal stories and rock art may depict these giant animals, reflecting their importance in the lives of early human inhabitants. Like the rest of the world, Australia also experienced the effects of the global ice ages during the Pleistocene Epoch, although the continent was not covered by large ice sheets like those in North America and Europe. Instead, the climatic conditions in Australia were significantly influenced by these glacial periods in several ways. It experienced cooler temperatures, especially during the peak glacial periods, but the most severe effects were the increased aridity. The continent became much drier, with expanded deserts and reduced water availability. This aridification led to the formation and expansion of large dune fields and desert landscapes. The cooler and drier climate led to changes in vegetation. Forests retreated in many areas, giving way to grasslands, savannas and deserts. These changes in plant communities affected the type of animals that could thrive in different regions. The extinction of the Diprotodon is part of a broader pattern of megafaunal extinctions that occurred around the world during the late Pleistocene, affecting many large species across different continents. It's unfortunate that this massive wombat the size of a car perished, but its memory lives on in the fossil record and in the skeletons of this formidable beast that we have found all across Australia. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to give it a like and consider subscribing to the channel for more videos just like this one. Thanks for watching.